There are benches of art in downtown Olympia. Stay tuned as your guide and host, Dale Vincent, takes you to artful places. And now, here's Dale. Hello. We're continuing our session on public art in the Olympia area. Today we're in downtown Olympia looking at 10 art benches, artistic benches done by various different artists throughout the Olympia area. This bench right here next to me is done by Sarah Utter. We're on Legion Street near the intersection of Legion and Cherry. Right down here about half a block on Legion is my favorite Italian restaurant in town, Sorrento's. So sometime, take a chance to come down here on Legion, sit on the bench, and then go down for a wonderful glass of red wine and some Italian food. Just behind the Sorrento restaurant, and just around the corner, is the pretty well-known Fishtail Brew Pub, Olympia's own downtown local microbrewery. They've got some fine selections in there, so it's another good reason to come and try out this bench. The artist for this bench is Dana Squires. We're still in downtown Olympia on 4th Avenue this time. This bench is located right in front of the Capitol Playhouse and we're directly across the street from the new Olympia City Hall. So you can come and sit on this bench Look across the street and see what $78 million in taxpayer money will get for you. On this corner, which is 4th Avenue and Cherry Street, is Ramblin' Jack's restaurant. Ramblin' Jack's. It's a great local downtown Olympia spot. Very popular, a lot of people in there. Try it out sometime. We're now on 5th Avenue in downtown Olympia near the intersection of 5th and Franklin. We're standing in front of the Capitol Theater and the bench here, our artist is Jennifer Kuhns, K-U-H-N-S. We should say that these benches are all a project of the Downtown Olympia PBIA, Parking Benefit Improvement Area. For many years, a lot of work has been done to try to revitalize Downtown Olympia Parking is always one of the complaints. So in the last couple of years, this PBIA has been formed. They assess a, sm a small fee to every downtown business, and it goes into various downtown Olympia improvement projects. This mural is on the side of the Capitol Playhouse. The Olympia Film Society is located in the Capitol Playhouse. The Film Society regularly presents the best award-winning international and independent films. Each November, the Society hosts the annual Olympia Film Festival, a 10-day, around-the-clock extravaganza of films, filmmakers, and special performances. A few moments ago, I mentioned the problem with parking in the downtown Olympia area, where there are at least three different kinds of parking meters. If you park in an area with the controversial parking pay station, there's no free parking. But 15 minutes of free parking will be automatically added to your receipt. These pay stations have a two-hour limit. Remember to place the receipt if you're in your vehicle window on the curb sidewalk side. There are at least two kinds of parking meters. One kind has a button on the payment side. If there's no time showing on the meter, be sure to press the button. You'll get 15 minutes of free parking. If you're parking longer than that, put in some coins. The second kind of parking meter doesn't have a button. 
but if you put in a penny, you'll get 15 minutes of free parking. Again, you can put in more coins and get longer time to park your vehicle. You can always park free after 5 p.m. on weekends and city-recognized holidays. We are right in front of the Washington Center for the Performing Arts, or WCPA as you frequently see it listed in the Panorama Activities Calendar. Our artist for this bench is Scott Young. This is just to the right side of the entrance to the Washington Center. Two more benches are over on the left. Our artist for this one is Rhett Thomas, again right at the Washington Center for the Performing Arts. Washington Center used to be an old downtown movie theater, and the place was totally renovated, turned into an 1,100-seat Performing Arts Center. Got a million and a half dollars from the state out of their capital budget, and the rest of the money came from a local fundraising project. If you walk less than half a block south of the Performing Arts Center, you'll get a good view of the old state capitol building. The old state capitol building is now the location for the Superintendent of Public Instruction for the State of Washington. SPI, or Superintendent of Public Instruction, take up the entire building. The whole thing was refurbished back in the late 1970s with beautiful copper roofs put on and the interior as well as the exterior was all redone at that time. Seems to house about four or five hundred total employees inside there. Going west on Legion One Block, we come to a bench design by artist Bridget Irish. True to her name, Irish, this bench contains shades of green. It is alongside Starbucks at Legion and Capitol Way. If you take a break and sit on the Irish bench, you'll be looking at Sylvester Park. The park is named after Olympia's founder, Edmund Sylvester and is the location of the original town square. Sylvester Park is a well-maintained public park with bandstand and benches. It is the site of the Music in the Park Summer Concert Series. We are now at the corner of Fifth and Columbia, right in front of the main branch of Heritage Bank. Christine Son is our artist for this particular bench. We think this whole project, this public benefit improvement area, was started about 2008, 2009. So that's about the time frame that all of these benches were produced. We're at the intersection of 4th and Columbia, downtown Olympia. This bench, the artist is Shaw OSHA, series of slat photographs of various buildings in the downtown area. Just up the street is a restaurant known as The Mark, a nice upscale restaurant. It's supposed to be a great bar, great cocktails. It's a place I've been meaning to take Georgia for a long time, but I've not yet been in there. This used to be City Tire Store. I used to buy tires there. Looking north on Columbia, at the corner is a restaurant and pub, the Cascadia. Gone through several name changes. Very popular place, a lot of kids like to hang out there just a half a block to our right is the wine loft, a nice new local wine, rip, wine shop. We're about a half a block from State Avenue, right on Capitol Way, in front of the Bread Peddler. Nice little coffee shop and bakery. 
Georgia says it's the best bakery in town. Our bench here is a little different than the others in that it has segments of photographs, but a little caption down on the left side of the bench says match all 28 pairs. So keep you occupied while you try to put the pictures together. The photographs are all of various areas around downtown Olympia and the waterfront here. relatively new mural in downtown Olympia connects the city's rich historic past with one of its first business owners, Rebecca Howard. The mural was unveiled in September of 2011. It depicts Howard and her hotel. It is on the south side of the Bread Peddler on Capitol Way, just north of State Street. The site of the mural was selected because Howard's hotel Pacific House was located next to the Bread Peddler building. That's now a diamond parking lot. The mural artist said, it was jarring to think that the legacy of a great Olympian was now just a parking lot. I felt strongly that Ms. Howard should be memorialized in some way and thus the mural project was born. The hotel and restaurant opened in 1859. The Pacific House was Olympia's leading hotel, hosting the likes of President Rutherford B. Hayes. We're at the backside of the Phoenix Inn Suites Hotel here in downtown. We're at the corner of Capitol Way and A Street. Our artist for this bench is Vince Ryland. The bench appears to be really in good shape as if it may have been recently refurbished depicting the arts. We've got performing arts, music, and painting, still life. Right behind are the Shag Apartments, which is Senior Housing Assistance Group. It's uh, senior housing, really nice apartments, and the rents are adjusted based on the individual's income. Good location, because we're right down here near the waterfront, close to the Senior Center, close to a lot of other facilities and the Olympia Farmers Market is just there at the end of the street. Our final art bench is one short block east of the Phoenix Inn at the corner of A Avenue and Washington Street. The bench was designed by Dana Squires. Earlier in this show we saw a bench of hers in front of the Capitol Playhouse. This one uses torn pieces of printed paper as part of its look. This bench is an inner city bus stop at the back of the boardwalk, a shag apartment. If you want more information about art in Olympia's public places, you can find it on the web. Go to Olympia's website, olympiawa.gov, then select these links, city services, then parks, arts and recreation, and finally, public art. Thanks for watching. And remember to regularly tune in to PCTV for these kinds of enjoyable trips to the South Sound's artful places. I'm Dale Vincent.